Hello students, welcome to Veranda IS. From the current affairs of environment, in this session we are going to discuss about the Farakka lock. The learning objectives of this particular session will be to explain Farakka lock, then examine Farakka lock in news. I will further discuss the concept of fish ladders, fish ways or fish passes. Then further we will examine the Hilsa fish. Let us begin first by introducing ourselves to the Farakka lock. Now, historical records indicate that until 1970s, the Hilsa swam upstream the Ganga to Allahabad and even to Agra. Now, upstream means what? It is against the direction. So, Ganga river, if we take it from like, let us say, Bay of Bengal and all those things. So, it comes to Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh, you have various regions and then again in back. Now, what was the case is that earlier there is a fish. Now, Farakka lock is the name, but it is mostly related to that particular fish, which is Hilsa. Or this Hilsa fish, it is a kind of a fish which travel, which lives in a salt water as well as the fresh water. So, it used to travel rivers. Okay, and in earlier 1970s, they used to even find this Hilsa uh, fish to Allahabad or even to Agra. So, it was traveling in a reverse direction. But what happened? The Farakka barrage, okay, Farakka dam, Farakka barrage is there, which is like a dam or which is like a pathway which obstructs this. It is a basically a dam was opened on Ganga in 1975 and it obstructed the Hilsa's westward migration. So now that is very significant, like even if you construct a dam, so fish cannot travel beyond the dam, right? Some fish may travel when the water is released. But overall what happens, there is an obstruction to this, obstruction to the flow of the uh, fish. Now, if it is a downstream, then then obviously there are chances that the fishes can travel whenever the water is released. But it is upstream, so fish cannot go up and then again it can come back. So, it the, obstructed the Hilsa's westward migration. Now, that was halted by the Farakka barrage. Then, a navigation lock on the barrage prevented the fish from swimming upstream past Farakka. The last known Hilsa catch was 32 years ago at the Baksar on the border of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. Now see, the see point is the fish was traveling there, but it is not traveling. So obviously we have destructed the pathway of that fish. So obviously with that, there will be some ecological minor considerations, but still uh, everyone has the right, every species has the right to passage. That is what we are talking about. Even with the elephants and all those things, we, what we are considering, we are considering creating elephant corridors and all those things. So there is safe journey of them. So in this case, it is interesting because here is the fish which is traveling upstream. So rarely you find that. Further, on 4th August 9, 2016, the then Union Water Resource Minister Uma Bharti informed the Lok Sabha of plans to build the fish ladders, okay, fish ladders to the to assist fish in the navigation navigating the barrage. So there will be a passage. Simply, what it is, there will be a passage that will allow the Hilsa fish to travel from Farakka barrage or cross the Farakka barrage and go upstream. Now, what was the news and why we are studying that? So in February 2019. The government announced rupees 360 crore project to replace the navigation lock at the Farakka barrage to establish a fish pass. So what is it all about the procession basically? It is about this fish pass which is being created specifically for this fish Hilsa. Okay, now fish passages also known as fish ladders or the fish ways are being developed at Farakka to aid fish in navigating dams and the barrages. That is what we are telling. It's a simple one. It's not that complicated. So fish is traveling upstream. So you are creating a passage. You are giving a pa pathway to that. Now, what are the fish ladders, fish ways, fish passes? They are designed to aid fish in navigating dams. So objective of fish ladder. Now again, it will not be absolute like every time it will have the same structures and all those things. So it will be according to the situation, according to the dams, what kind of construction is there. So it means the simple from the definition point of view, what it is, it is helping in the navigation. So it, it will be creating a path and barrages. They are typically made of little steps that allow the fish to climb over the barriers and into the open waters on the other side. So it's very, again, simple but important. What it is, it is like they allow it to climb it slightly, slowly and all those things and they can just pass on to the other side. The earliest fish ladders are supposed to have been fashioned from bundles of tree branches to assist fish in crossing difficult channels in the Western Europe. So the idea is existing. So the idea is not new. But the point is in India we are creating that. Again, again I am repeating, if it is a downstream thing, then obviously there would not have been issue. But if this specifically is 
because the fish is traveling upstream. So that's why we are talking about this fish ladders and all. Now what is a Hilsa fish? Now the Hilsa that is Tenulosa elicia, it's the it's biological name is an anadromous fish according to the science that is scientific way of uh, defining anadromous means what see the Hilsa spends the majority of its time in the sea but during the rainy season it migrates to the estuary where the rivers of India and Bangladesh meet the Bay of Bengal. So what is happening this fish is actually living in sea water that is the salt water and also the fresh water that is coming from the rivers. So generally this fish during the rainy season it migrates we can simply say in simplest word it migrates or it travels rivers. So and in that period it is specifically living in a fresh water. Now according to the culinary legend the fish that travel the farthest upstream have the best combination of sea and river flavors. So that is the point we can simply say why we want that fish then again we can say it is the taste of that fish that makes it very peculiar because this fish is a combination of salt water as well as it is a combination of a fresh water. So that gives itself a very unique kind of taste. So that is about the Hilsa fish. So to summarize what we have learned in this particular session we studied the Farakka lock. What it is Farakka lock in simplest sense what is it is a construction constructed on the river Ganga which is halting the movement of the fish and then further we studied Farakka lock in the news. Then we went on to study the concept of fish ladder, fish face, fish passages and then we studied the Hilsa fish, the peculiarity. The Hilsa fish point will be important from the prelims as it was in news and this is an interesting information so you should be knowing that and remember this what is the simple thing it is salt water as well as fresh water plus it travels upstream during the rainy seasons. So it has a two kind uh, two way habitat okay. So with that I hope you have understood this very simple topic of Faraka barrage and uh, that's it for this session see you in another one thank you.